William Hoffman. Ladies and gentlemen, William Hoffman.
prove that love is blind. <laughs> Thanks for the memory, Gina McDowell. <laughs> the test that identified that spot as the sacred spot. <laughs> A decade or so later, Principal Gregory <laughs> at an honors tea asked all students who were to receive academic awards to, and this is in his own words, to approach the altar. <laughs> I'm sure you understand how many of us felt about the stage, but then, you know, I just don't think you got to know the territory. <laughs> in all the years between that sacred spot and the altar episode, the memorable moments continued. Eventually, I realized I was rapidly approaching middle age, and I decided, yeah, well, there is light outside the classroom. <laughs> you see, I have always believed that God made everything out of nothing. And Wesley Henderson <laughs> reminded me that my nothingness was beginning to show through. Sometimes I remember what I <laughs> And now you know the rest of the story. A year later, my wife, Patricia, purchased me a ticket to Japan. Since I never went great on reading directions, I landed at Nairita Airport just outside Tokyo before I realized that my quiet, unassuming, economical wife in order to save money, had purchased me a one-way ticket. <laughs> I understood why I got my 25 cent a week allowance in advance. <laughs> you know how thankful I was that that plane wasn't named the Titanic. <laughs> so I was forced to return to teaching so I could afford my way back. <laughs> I can never quite share those months on the other side of the world with anyone except the instructors and the Japanese students that I taught. All the Lindsays and Mikes and Aarons and Erics and Jamies of Kyoto were replaced with unfamiliar Japanese names. Names like Kumi, Yumi and Yuka, Megumi and Yoshiaki, Hiromi, Tomoko, Junko or Chiharo, from Tokyo or Yokohama or Nagano. Using words to describe teaching any place other than Kyoto is like using a screwdriver to cut me. <laughs> Though I can't share that experience with you, I can share my latest suit. If Allie and Lee would bring it out. <laughs> Is to know the whole Tokyo territory. <laughs> but in Japan, I learned old saying on how to have a rich and full life, even in middle age. This simple philosophy, fill what's empty, empty what's full, scratch where it itches. <laughs> 